Hi everyone, welcome to another video, it's Jenny. Now I'm sure you've been on Instagram before and you've scrolled through and seen these advertisements for fitness trainers or you've seen several different fitness trainer pages and you've wondered who hires an Instagram fitness trainer? Well, that would be me. And I'm here today just to talk a little bit about my experience with hiring an Instagram fitness trainer and maybe give you a little bit of advice if you're also thinking about doing the same thing. So the first thing people want to know is the price. How much does it cost to hire an Instagram fitness trainer? Well, I can tell you that the um, prices probably vary and usually I didn't see somebody just flat out telling you how much it costs. They kind of want to pull you in and then tell you how much it's going to cost. But um, I can tell you that I paid $80 US dollars per month. And so that might be about the same price as a gym membership. Um, sometimes you can get gym memberships a little bit cheaper. But if price is a concern for you, make sure that you ask your trainer about the cost or if there's a way to reduce the cost. Um, so my trainer, I had to pay her monthly, but some trainers may um, do it by the week or they might be on a fitness platform, an app where you pay per workout. So just be clear on how much they're asking and how to pay. The second thing that I wanna talk about is the type of plan that the fitness trainer is doing. So the whole reason that I hired an Instagram fitness trainer is because I had a baby and after I had the baby, I still had a lot of weight to lose. Uh, and I also had something called diastasis recti, which is a gap in your abdominal muscles. And I also had an umbilical hernia. And I had gone to a physical therapist who specialized in this and that helped, but I really needed um, more, something more intense uh, to help me lose the weight, uh, to help my hernia and to help heal that uh, gap, that abdominal gap. And I just didn't feel like I was finding that locally. And so I turned to the internet. And when I um, thought about looking on the internet, I just was on Instagram and I saw these fitness trainers and I thought, hey, why not try an Instagram trainer? And so I really looked for somebody who specialized in diastasis and had experience with postpartum moms. And I did find several Instagram trainers that specialized in this. Um, so you really should look at what your goal is and try to find people that match with your goal. Um, and as in regards to the type of plan, what type of fitness are they offering? Are they offering a diet plan? Are they offering a meal plan? Are they offering recipes? And for me, the recipe portion wasn't too important, but for some people they really need structure and they need a schedule. And so they want somebody that can help them meal prep and give them recipes to eat. Also something to consider is, uh, me and my trainer, we literally lived a world apart. And so some of the food things that she would recommend, I wasn't able to purchase easily or I wasn't able to get where I live. So if you're hiring somebody outside of your country and they're giving you um, 
nutrition advice, food advice, just know that you may not always be able to get the foods that they recommend. The third thing is availability. So you're probably wondering, well, if you're using an Instagram trainer and you lived half a world away from her, then what is the availability like? And honestly, I think this depends on the trainer that you pick. So some trainers, you might see them in person um, and then do part of it by yourself at home or at the gym. Um, and other trainers you may have almost no contact with. Some trainers you may have no contact with. All you're doing is buying their program on an app. And uh, so the trainer that I chose, again, we lived very far apart from each other, and she was on a training app, a training platform, and so she would upload my workouts to this platform and I would follow the workouts on the platform. And the workouts that I would do, they were done at home. And that was really a big plus for me because I'm a mom, I don't have a lot of time. So I really needed something that I could do from home. And I knew that it was going to be uh, something that I needed to do pretty regularly. So with my trainer, her availability was um, basically bought through email. She did give me a phone number to call. It was her personal phone number in case I had some kind of emergency. I could call her, but usually, or I would say all the time, our contact was just by email. And she did say after I signed up that uh, it would take one day to email me back if I had any questions for her and that's okay but um, ideally I would have liked somebody who would respond the same day that I send them a question um, but I understand that it wasn't her main job. She did also work at a gym, so you have to take that into consideration. And a lot of times these Instagram trainers or online trainers, they have lots of people that they're training all at once. And that is a question that I asked my trainer that I hired, I asked her, how many people does she train at once? She didn't answer specifically, but she says she only takes a certain number of people. And she only has a certain number of openings so that each person can get the uh, individualized attention that they need. The type of exercise that I did, I mentioned that I did it at home and it was high intensity interval training or HIT training. And something that you really should consider is if you don't already have uh, equipment at home, that's going to be an extra cost. And that's something that I didn't really think about um, when I was hiring my trainer. Now, um, with the high intensity interval training, it was basically just a little bit of, um, cardio and weight training. And I did have a few weights, but I didn't have weights that were heavy enough for, um, some of the exercises that I needed to do. So I did have to buy more weights. So when you are picking out uh, a trainer, just make sure to tell them what you have at home or what you have handy. You can tell them if you're going to a gym or if you have a bicycle or if you have weights or if you don't have anything and hopefully they should be able to accommodate your needs. So the results, what ended up happening? Well, if you've seen my other video, um, I talk about how I lost 20 kg or 40 pounds. And so the results were good. I didn't lose 
all that weight in the four months that I was training with her, but eventually I did lose 40 pounds or 20 kilograms. And so the results were good. I think what I learned with her was really valuable. Um, I learned a lot about nutrition, even though she uh, doesn't have a degree in nutrition, but I did learn a lot about nutrition and I really think that was the key for me, learning about macros and, um, and I learned how to um, help my uh, abdominal gap. So my abdominal gap ha has healed. It's not 100% back together, but it has gone back together. And my hernia went away. Well, it didn't go away because I think it's always there, but the umbilical hernia went back in. So before it was sticking out and now it's not and I don't have any um, pain or anything like that. I can lay on my stomach now where when I first started, I couldn't because of the hernia. So in that respect, I got the results that I wanted. And for me, it's taken over nine months to lose that much weight. And I think a lot of times when you're on Instagram and you're scrolling through, you see these advertisements that say, lose weight fast, lose weight in 30 days, lose weight in 12 weeks. And I just think people should know that that's a way to get you in. It's marketing. Again, it takes time. It takes a lot of time to lose weight. And I just think that's something that, uh, people online and people on Instagram, they just overblow it and they, they make you think that you're gonna lose weight really fast and that's just not reality. So I mentioned that I trained with my trainer for four months and then the rest of the time I've just been working out by myself and watching my diet and tracking my macros on my own and so um, you might wonder how to stop using a fitness trainer or should you stop using a fitness trainer? And luckily the trainer that I picked, she purposely set up her program in a way that you learn about nutrition and you can take control and you won't always have to rely on her, which I really appreciated. And I, I think that's really what people want to get to. They don't want to have to depend on a trainer or a fitness plan or a diet plan. You want to be able to get the information and then, you know, continue on with your, with your life and be healthy. And so, um, just my tip about how to stop using a fitness trainer and is to make a plan. So think about how long you want to use a fitness trainer or that you can use a fitness trainer. And my trainer, she would even say, what's your goal? What's your plan in the future? If you're not continuing, can you continue using their program? Will you be able to make your own program? Um, how are you gonna continue with your nutrition? Do you need somebody to hold you accountable for how much you're eating or can you keep yourself accountable? And if you find yourself slipping back into old habits, then maybe you can use the trainer again. There's nothing that says you can't go back and use the trainer. Uh, would I use a trainer again? I would say yes. I'm really happy with my results. I'm not sure that I would use the same trainer that I picked um, now that I have all this information and I, I kind of have a, a base of what to do. I might just um, hire a trainer who, who does workouts and so maybe I would um, 
just do the workouts. I really feel like that's all I need. And also if your goal changes, then you may want to consult a trainer again. And that's also another reason that I might consult a trainer in the future because I would like to start building muscle now and that's something that I've never done and so you know I like to call on their expertise and see like how to build muscle um, they know what to do I don't so that was my experience hiring an Instagram trainer and just to go back over some of the tips uh, make sure that you check the price and how to pay the trainer check their availability and make sure that they're available when you need them. Um, look at results. They should have a page with people who can, sh who um, pictures or something where they can show that they have helped people reach their goal and check out their type of plan. What type of exercises will they do? How well will they uh, personalize it to you? How many people that they're taking on at one time? And finally, check and see if they um, are giving you the tools you need to continue on your own or are they the type of trainer who kind of always wants you to be training with them? Um, so. That was my experience. Those were my tips and I hope this video helped you and if so, please hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!